there before Power of Girl, uh, new Power of Girl Mania sweeps sweeps all of us over this Sunday, and we either like it or we all end up hating it. And uh, me, I'm probably gonna cuss all of the Power of Girl writers out for this. Probably I won't. <laughs> you never know with me. You never know. I might end up hating it. I might end up liking it. So, you're probably wondering. So, Bugsy. What about the other four Pound of Girls you talked about? For those of you that don't know. Well, that's... I'll explain. So... Okay. Unbeknownst to probably all of you that are watching the new series, there was a, there was a four pound girl, and actually a fifth one if you actually count Bullet in that mix. I'll probably explain who Bullet is in another video, but eh. But basically, but basically, Bunny was basically a character basically made by. Made by the Power Girls because they needed a break. See, the, see what I ha see what had happened was let me go let me go pull let me go pull that up for you guys. But what happened was, see, Bunny was eh, kind of like I don't want to be I don't want to be like offending anybody un unnecessarily. But let's just say Bunny wasn't all there. And, you know, the girls basically made her to, you know, so, you know, so they can have a break. And, you know, if if you were basically, if you were basically tasked to take care of Talisa forever, because remember, remember that one, remember that one episode where y'all went into the speed of light and they said, we have to stay here. If we weren't around to protect it, shit would happen. You know, I don't, I don't like to think that the show, the old show had a lot of continuity, but I would love to, I kind of like to believe they, you know, the weight of them always trying to save Townsville because they know two, two times the town, the Townsville people cannot save themselves. Like they made that abundantly clear, but, um. Sorry for the pawn you may see. That's my fault. <laughs> you know, you know. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I look at stuff. I'm a, I do like a little pawn, you know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool. See, but this is how. This is how. I'm wondering. Because, you know, freaking. You know, the new Papa Girl show. Uh, doesn't know where, really what it wants to be, where it stands. Is it a reboot or a continuation? Will they ever mention Bunny? Or... Will they ever really mention Bunny? Or will they... Or, you know, when they see Bliss, will they see like, oh, shit. Will they say like, oh, wait a minute. Are you... And then they, I mean... Will they say that? Probably not, but, you know, just certain things to think about. But here we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Bunny. As you can see, they made Bunny, like, they didn't, they didn't do the recipe or uh, how they got created exactly. You know, that's why Bunny looks so, well, big. She had a very goofy voice as well. You know, so, basically the first time she actually had, uh, were stopping crime, she actually kind of, she basically, uh, beat up the cops and put them in jail, letting out a whole slew of, of criminals and and basically basically you know the powerful girl scolded her and said she did a bad job they said bunny they said bunny did bad she cried she flew up then afterwards 
the crux of Bunny Set Free beat the ever loving shit out of the Power of Girls. And you know, the thing I always kind of un- didn't understand about the Power of Girls is like, they're strong. So it's not like they would have been able. It's not like. Like, every time they get freaking, like, jumped by a bunch of villains, I just don't understand it. They just. They could go, like, boom, 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 just keep going. But I guess they can. Even they can get overpowered. But if there's enough people or enough villains or whatever. So they call Bunny for help. Bunny beats the ever. Bunny beats the shit out of them, but not, like, beat the shit out of them, like, how. How the girls did when they were fighting Mojo and uh, basically really did beat the dog shit out of them because, because you know, candy reasons. They got addicted to that shit. But I, you know, I always kind of put that, I always kind of thought it's because they're made out of sugar. So more of it just makes them even more freaking volatile. That's a story for another, that's a story for another day. So, Bunny beats all the villains. Beats all the crooks up, and she explodes. Like she explodes, but there is no sound. She blows up into like a white void. We don't hear nothing. All we see is a close up of the girl. A white void just envelops, melts the spot where she just was, only leaving a part of her dress. And and bunny and you know. She died. And they said, you know, Bobo said, Bunny did good, but you're the ones that were bad. A lot of people don't really think of this episode as just, oh, it's just being sad for the sake of being sad. But for a lot of us when we were kids, it got to us. Because Power Girls was never really a serious show, but when it. But this was the only time it really got serious. Well, it got serious a little bit. It got serious one more time. But that's another story for another day. But basically, basically, this this episode got to us. It, like every time I look at it now, I just kind of te- I tear up a little bit because yeah, the girls. May have created Bunny out of selfish reasons. But they did. But she was their sister. And she they did create her. And they do feel responsible. And if the writers actually did. If the writers actually did do their job. Of actually making. Making character development. They would actually either have the girls remember. Yeah we made Bunny in this. You know. You know, because the professor never found out that they did. You know, then he never found out that they did. I wonder what I wonder what he'd say if he actually knew they made Bunny. That was a thing that never really came up. But But yeah. Even though it really doesn't get me like it did when I was a kid, I do tear up occasionally. Because this was sad, and you know, like, Ms. Ranger's like, well, it's, you know, it's already sad, the narrator didn't point it out, and you know, Mr. Ranger to me, like, he's a good dude, he makes good content, but sometimes, sometimes I just look at him and just go, dude, you know this, you know this episode made a lot of, made a lot of people cry when they were kids, but you gotta be, you gotta be the most biggest asshole all the goddamn time. Damn, you know, I'm an asshole too, but at least, at least that would just, like, cl- I clam up for a minute. But you know what I mean? This, this episode still means a lot because she was the fourth power of girl. She was the first power of girl that actually wore purple. And, and that's what I'm saying. She was a one-time character, but she stuck with us. Like, and yeah, I forgot about her when uh, one of the members of Fusion Paul Legacy brought it up, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right, Bunny." And yeah, when I heard the when I heard the Power Girl writers were pulling this stuff off, I just. 
thought about this. Yeah, still kind of, still kind of moves me, because I feel like if if you know Power Girls was a was a character, if they were, um, if they was all about character development, they would literally be thinking. They would be literally probably thinking about this every once in a while, probably even having a little place. Where uh, Bunny is like, Bunny is like a little sash, or, you know, a little piece of her dress is probably in their closet, like a little shrine. And sorry for making this kind of sappy, but you know, you know, that's what I'm hoping that the writers, the writers make they make Bliss memorable. You know, if she's gonna be a one-time thing, make her memorable. Craig and the rest of the Craig and the rest of the original Power Girls writing staff knew this. If they were gonna make a if they were gonna make a four Power Book Girl, they made her memorable. They made her stand out. They they made her they made this episode to be something we'd all remember. Also also I think this is a little bit of a message, you know. Don't take don't take people. They'll take the ones you love for granted and never play God. Just never play God. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. I recommend you guys watch this. If you're an old school Power of Girl fan like I am, just watch it, man. Trust me. Again, this is not really a part two of my uh, other video. It's not a part two of my other video, but this is a video just talking about the real four power of girl and the fact that Bliss was made probably because uh, Professor Newtonian probably did a, like a little miscalculation on Bliss, and that's why she's so tall and whatnot. So we're gonna see. Sunday, we're all gonna see if if Bliss is uh, basically if Bliss is basically gonna be a memorable power girl or just a flash in the pan for people who want for people who want diversity. Because I don't care about I don't care about a character's ethnicity. The thing is, to me, this character has to stand out. If she's really the fourth power girl, she has to stand out. She has to, she has to make us care. Bunny did that in one episode. You know, Bunny did that in one episode, and that's the thing I've been trying to say. Now, a lot of you can probably write this off as me just being, you know, childish or whatever. And I'm talking about a kids show. But for those of you that want to keep going at me for that. Motherfucker, this has relevance to not only just me, but a lot of people. And whether you all like that or not. Why are you even clicking on this video? Like seriously. Go, some, go somewhere else. Sorry guys, I have to say that because a lot of trolls have been fucking with me lately. So, yeah. Gotta gotta say that every once in a while but yeah even talking about Bunny kind of makes me a little bit more emotional but you know that's the, that's the thing I've been trying to say though the Power Girl writers are they just doing this because you know oh she's a black Power Girl and she's taller and all this other stuff I mean the thing is the thing is, I folk, you know, when I'm writing, when I'm writing characters for Sonic Freedom Fighters, or for Ron Mo One Half, I don't even really care about their, I don't really care about their ethnicity or their race. It's all about how they are as characters. That we should be drawn to. It's all about how they are as characters, not how, not what their, not what their race is, not what race their voice actor is, but what they are as characters, and what they mean, what they stand for, what, you know? 
That's why I feel like people should be understanding. If you're going to put a character of a different race in a show, you've got to put something more than just, oh, she's she's black, and oh, her, her freaking voice actor is South African. Oh, like, you know, make this character stand out, you know? From one writer to another, just make this character stand out. Make this character memorable. Make this character so memorable that we can look on this character with fondness. Or at least have the pe- the kids that are watching your show look on this character with fondness. Because if you don't do that, what's the point? I know this is just a money ploy and just a way for you guys to get ratings. But make this character stand out. And if she doesn't, well, the new Power of Girls reboot is good as dead. Uh, this is just a precursor to uh, the main event mo- the main event on Sunday. So get ready folks. Tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, kids. I'll see you then. Um, I want you all to know also that again, this character has this character has a reason. This character had a purpose, and let's just hope Bliss has a purpose and a reason for being created. Now, I'm not just talking about in universe. I'm talking about. I'm talking about inside the show. You know, just inside the show. Though she couldn't have been made with good intentions, she could she could work. If she has something that we that other people can gravitate towards. Hopefully. Well, I'm Bugsy. And I'm signing off. I guess I can make this the Bugsy's Corners episode. <laughs> Another one. But hey, I'll see you guys later. This is Bugsy, signing off. And oh yeah, peace, Chaos Nation. I'll see you later. Hit the bell, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And, you know, you know, and for you newer Powerful Girl fans, I suggest you watch this too. Because it is, because I may have, I may have uh, been pretty bare bones with this. But, you know, you get the gist of it, really. You get the gist of it. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. I mean, bye, guys. It's not like I said, bye, Gus. Who the fuck is Gus? Anyways, bye, guys. You watching the Big Three Butts Network? Yeah. Okay. You watching the Big Three Butts Network? Yeah. Hey, check out the channel for gay Oslo. Yeah. Okay. Hey, check out the channel for gay Oslo. Yeah.